Welcome back. Let us now see how to solve the question number six in Certified Kubernetes Administrator, Killer Shell. Question number six, task rate eight percentage. So first let's um, switch to the given context by simply executing the command that um, they've given. I've done it on both the shells. Terminals. The question create a new persistent volume named Safari PV. It should have a capacity of two gigabytes. Access mode read write once, host path slash volume slash data, and no storage class name defined. Uh, let us now use the Kubernetes documentation to create um, and to create the persistent volume. So persistent volume. We can search for the persistent volume. Kind persistent volume. We should be able to come down here. Uh, let's copy this. Go back to the terminal and let's create a file called six.yaml. Paste it. Um, now let's modify this to um, solve the problem. So the persistent uh, volume name should be Safari PV and uh, it should be of capacity two gigabytes. Um, volume no mode is um, not specified. Let's remove that. Um, access mode uh, read write once, which is right. And uh, they have also given as it should have host path. Um, host path has volumes slash data. Um, the thing this looks good. So before creating the persistent volume, let's query if there are any persistent volumes already. So no resource found. Let's uh, create the persistent volume. It says there is some problem. Fine. Um, I think there is some problem with the host, host path. Let's check the syntax examples here. Ah, host path, and then we have to give a path. It's not a list. Path, sorry, path colon. Now let us execute this. Okay, it created the persistent volume. Let's query if it is there. Yeah, it's there. So status is available. Read it one, Safari PB, perfect. So we have solved this part. Let's go to the second one. Next, create a new persistent volume claim in the namespace Project Tiger. Um, named Safari PVC. Let's go to the documentation and search for persistent volume, volume claim. Well, I think we should be able to use this. So one should not define a storage class name. The PVC should bond to the PV correctly. All right, I um, think it should work until this point. Um, let's get six dash PVC dot YAML. Um, paste the YAML. So they say we have to create a persistent volume named Safari PVC and uh, we have to create in the namespace 
I think it should all be lowercase. Yes. So namespace should be project tiger. And, and it should request two gigs of storage and access mode as read write ones, which is there, and should not define storage class name. We don't have it. I think that is it. Uh, all the constraints are set. Um, Jupyter will get PVC to see if there is any PVC, nothing. So, Let's create one. Six dash PVC. It's created. Now get PVC. Oh, um, we are creating in the. This is a namespace to resource. So we have to query in the right namespace. It is there. Now we can also see this is bound. And it is bound to the volume Safari PV, which we already created here. And everything looks good. So first two parts of the equation are done. Clear the screen. Then finally create a deployment. Create deployment named Safari. So we can use Safari is the name in the namespace project tiger, which mounts um, that volume at uh, the temp Safari data. And the parts of the deployment should be of image, should be of image, the specified image. So um, the only thing that's left out is we have to um, mount the volume. So which we can do it once we have the manifest. Looks good. So this is six, um, let's say deployment.demo. Uh, we will open the file so the other things that we have to do is um, which mounts to the volume at the temp safari data deployment that exists with this name cupid get deployments in the project tiger namespace. Um, the deployment name is Safari, so we don't have the Safari uh, deployment. Let's create that. It says it create, it's created. Um, it seems to be created up and running. Uh, let's describe uh, the deployment Safari. in the project tiger namespace. Uh, the mounts are there. And the deployment name we know it's it's uh, Safari in the namespace and the image looks good. All looks good. So uh, that's all for this question. Thanks for watching.